Arizona has had a long history with Hollywood, but it's not just westerns or movies being filled in Tombstone. There's another part of our state that's experienced its own movie magic. ABC 15's Nick Saletti is taking us to Yuma to show us how the city and the surrounding area have long been a hit with Hollywood. I know, I know. It looks like I'm in the middle of the Sahara Desert, right? I'm actually just a few hours west of the valley, just outside of Yuma, here in the Imperial Sand Dunes. I got to tell you, I lived in Yuma for a few years. I had no idea the dunes played this much of a starring role in some of our favorite movie masterpieces. You know, I, I live it all my life, and I like the sand dunes. Sand dunes are beautiful. But the Imperial Sand Dunes are more than just a stunning setting. Ask Anthony Fernandez, who spent his whole life here in Yuma. I used to go out and come here all the time as a kid, but mostly at the sand dunes. Just a short drive from Yuma, west on the 8 Freeway, the dunes have long been a playground for people who live in this part of Arizona. They've also become the perfect setting for some of our all-time favorite films. Dozens of major movies have shot right here in the dunes and in Yuma, like 1983's Star Wars Return of the Jedi. A lot of times because we're kind of a smaller community, they don't kind of like believe it. Joe Taposte is with Visit Yuma and has lived here most of his life. Joe tells me this area's movie magic also brings in plenty of visitors. A lot of people do come down and they want to see the sites. They want to see those places where these movies were actually done. And of course, it also brings in the movie makers, the actors, directors, and crew members who make it all happen. They stay here, they eat here, and then they drive out there to actually do the filming. You got their, their staff coming in here, you got the actors coming in here, and it's revenue for everything. But it's not just the dunes experiencing that movie magic. Here in downtown Yuma, rumor has it that Marilyn Monroe stayed here behind me at the Hotel San Carlos on her honeymoon with baseball great Joe DiMaggio. There's even rumors John Wayne rode his horse in the lobby. Other films like Casablanca, Psycho, and Raiders of the Lost Ark all shot scenes in and around Yuma. That's uh, the misconception. They think it's just a pit stop. But this is showing Yuma is so much more. Yeah, of course. Uh, this is just one of the things that make our community, you know, that diamond in the rough. Yuma's movie magic is something Anthony knows all too well. My father was in uh, one of the movies. Anthony tells me his dad worked in production on a war movie shot back in the 40s. Was he proud of that? Yes, he was. Anthony says it's also given everyone else something to be proud of. As somebody who's from here, is that like a, a point of pride for you that Yuma has this involvement yes, in the movies? Yes, very. Yes, yes it is. All right, so if you enjoyed reliving some of this movie magic and some of the history, we've posted more fun facts for you, along with the story on the main page of ABC15.com. Reporting just outside of Yuma, Nick Saletti, ABC15, Arizona.